Beast of the Southern Wild is mm. nominated for Best Picture at this year's Oscars, and it is fantastic. I can't praise this movie enough. I think it has done more to relate the problem of climate change to actual human circumstances than any other thing I think in the history of the world where inconvenient truth laid out the scientific side of it beasts of the southern wild hit you with the emotional and human side of it and it was extremely effective oh it was amazing you had the beasts uh, basically thawing mm-hmm. out uh, in the in the arctic regions mm-hmm. and then storming down uh, into the southern part of mm-hmm. the United States, into the marshes of uh, New Orleans and, mm-hmm. and Lu- or Louisiana, mm-hmm. uh, at least. Now, Wavengine uh, Wallace. Wallace is nominated for Best Actress. She's actually the youngest woman to ever be nominated. Be- <laughs> woman, yeah, because no, female. <laughs> well, you listen to her Person, talk. You listen to her talk uh, and do interviews. She, she, she's a woman. You she, know what I mean? she, she has she matured a, tremendously right. uh, since the filming of this movie. Right. Um, and, and what, what annoyed me, really, about this situation was Dwight Henry, who right. plays her father in the film, gave uh, a, 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 an amazing performance. Now, both of these people were first-time actors as well. Every single person in the mm. film was a first-time actor. Uh, ben Zeitlin, the director, uh, did an amazing job. This is his first feature film. So this is one of those just like... Nominated for caught, Best Picture, mind you. Right? It caught lightning in a bottle, and and you know he's going to have a tremendous career, right? And he's definitely like he's part of a film collective. He's not really, you know, looking to start, you know, segueing this into directing the next Star Wars movie, right? He wants to tell real good stories. And an interesting side note that I found on while researching the stories, Ben Zeitlin's parents are both perfect, professional folklorists, hmm. which makes a lot of sense. makes a lot of sense <laughs> after you watch *Beast of the Southern Wild* because it's just full of that kind of folklore uh, yeah. feeling to oh, it. And you you got to go see it. You, yeah, go watch it in the theater or go out. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and, and get it on on DVD when it's available. Yeah, go go uh, you know go over to Netflix and or wherever it is when it's available and and get it. And keep an eye out for all of these actors, but but definitely definitely Dwight Henry because. He got robbed, but yeah. without it, he deserved a best supporting actor Absolutely. nomination. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to talk down talk anybody, but I mean the fact that like Alan Arkin was nominated for Argo, which is you know he not saying he didn't give a great performance, but when you stack that up side by side with, oh, it just it doesn't even compare. And the problem is because, the problem is that no one really saw Beasts of the Southern Wild compared to all these big budget movies, and so that's it's great that it got nominated. Uh, in support of the actress category and best picture category because then it'll get a lot more play. That's why we watched it. That's how we found it. Yep. And that's one of the great things about the Academy is that they elevate small movies like that's that. Right. So Beast of the Southern Wild, uh, everyone involved in that project, fantastic mm. work. You, 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 not only was there the symbolism of climate change, but there was the symbolism of just kind of the, the development of modern society and how that pushes off fringe groups that don't necessarily want to be a part of that and don't necessarily buy into that and and it, and it brings up a lot of good points about you know how we deal with that situation moving forward because it's not just happening here in the United States it's happening all over the world right so the White House actually did a, a tremendous uh, event and Michelle Obama hosted uh, Ben uh, Govengine and Dwight uh, at the White House uh, and they screened the movie to a bunch of middle schoolers and high schoolers and then had a big Q&A afterwards. So we'll link that down below if you are interested in checking that out.